Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're here in the Performance Centre at Howley Hall Golf Club and we've got some really exciting products to talk to you about today. So we have the AI1 and AI1 milled series of putters from Odyssey. We're gonna start off the video today here in good old Blighty at Howley Hall in Leeds. We're gonna have a bit of a look at some of these models. I'm gonna show you um, how some of them look, how they sort of perform on the first hit that I'm gonna have with them here inside. But then we've been so lucky, we've been invited to the global marketing launch for these products, okay? We're gonna jump on a plane, we're gonna head over to Dallas, Texas, we're going to the Omni PGA Frisco Resort just outside Dallas, Texas to take a look a bit more in depth at these, as well as get some exclusive content for you guys here on the channel, which I'm really, really excited about. So today, we're gonna to talk about the technology in these two models, we're gonna talk about why they're so fantastic, and exactly why Odyssey is shouting about them. So Odyssey is a putter brand you will all be very familiar with. They've been the number one on tour, on the PGA Tour for the last 13 years and on the DP World Tour and the LPGA Tour for 20 years plus. So, you know, they know a lot about putters. They're also responsible this year, 2023, for over half of the worldwide wins on all the major tours around the world. So... They know what they're talking about. Their performance is validated on tour by the best players in the world. So why are they trying to revolutionise what they're doing? Well, they obviously see a bit of a gap in the market. They see that maybe their um, kind of usage of milled putters isn't as high as they'd like it to be, which is where we're going to get onto the AI1 milled in a little bit. But also their use of AI in the design of many of their products over the last few years. So the um, flash face that they've had in their woods, um, iron faces, everything to do with perimeter weighting, everything that you use artificial intelligence for when designing golf equipment has, has kind of been validated and proved on the best tours by the best players around the world. So why not turn their attention to put it. They know that they've got that number one kind of ranking. They obviously want to stay there, but they also feel like they can improve some of the technology that they currently offer. Introducing the AI1 series of putters. So the AI1 series has the uh, white hot kind of feel and look to it, but with a little bit of a difference. So we'll talk to you a little bit about the tech right now. So it's available in many of the head shapes that you've come to know and love from Odyssey. So the ones I've been sent here, we have uh, number one, number seven, double wide, and this, the Rossi, which is obviously famous because uh, John Rahm uses it and has done for a while, and he switched into it very, very recently. But if we talk about the technology, now, what Odyssey have tried to do with this and you, their use of AI, particularly in this putter, is trying to get consistent ball speed across the face because we know we don't all strike it out the middle all the time. Certainly I don't. And the data that they've picked up from the PGA Tour with back that up too, you kind of look at around that 34, 35 feet mark, players on the PGA Tour are just as likely to three putt as they are to hold it. Now, that probably sounds quite crazy to me and you who think that these players on all these major tours you know, never three put or they're always really, really consistent. Well, the data doesn't back that up. And certainly when designing this uh, range of putters, Odyssey have looked at tons of data that they've gathered from all their players on major tours and looking at where they miss the middle of the face. So is it the heel? Is it the toe? Is it high? Is it low? What happens to these players? Now, they've been collecting this data for a a long time um, and come up with with this. Basically, they've fed all this information into the AI supercomputer that they use at Callaway HQ in the R&D department and basically looked at how they can make the face of a putter more forgiving, right? So there's some bold claims with this, right? So Callaway are saying, or Odyssey are saying, it's going to end up 21% closer to the hole. Now, what does that mean? So 
If we're hitting puts off center, it means that more of them are going to get to the hole, they're going to stay on line, and the speed control is going to be better. So we're going to find that on our off center hit, so when we get outside of that, you know, the PJ Tour, same 34, 35 feet range, we're going to get more inside those areas where the percentages do increase that we're going to hold these puts, okay? So for the best players in the world, this can represent a massive improvement in performance. Um, Obviously, we're talking about the best players in the world here, but how is this going to work for us? You know, the average golfer out there and the average person going out on the golf course. Well, it means that you're going to hit more of those puts that you don't strike very well, that you leave short, that you kind of, particularly the short ones where we don't commit to them, more of them are going to get closer to the hole and who knows, even go in, okay? With that 21%, remember, closer to the hole stat that we're looking at here. So the AI1 series has this white hot insert, which many of us will know and absolutely love from putters that we've used in the past. And honestly, we're not going to change this massively. It's something that works and it's something that many of the best players in the world absolutely love. But there's a slight difference here. So we've got an aluminium back here. Um, we can actually see some of the technology if we look at one of the other models here that I've got. So the... Um, the number one that we have here, you can actually see that tech through the back of the putter there. And what you can actually see is the kind of raised sections on the back of the face and towards the heel higher there and also towards the toe that are going to help this putter be a lot more forgiving. OK, so this aluminium section in the back, coupled with the white hot on top of it, these two are molded together to really get the best performance using the aluminium and the best feel and performance with the white hot insert on the front there. You can also see we've got a slightly different finish. Okay, this is a navy PVD finish. It looks quite black when you see it on the camera here, but it does look a little bit more blue when you when you actually look at it um, in real life. We've got some cutaways here for you to have a bit of a look at and some of the shapes that we've used. So the ones I've been sent to, to test and look at are the number one, which is kind of your classic blade sort of shape. Even you, with the crank hosel, you can see a lot of the technology in the back of the neck there as well. I've also been sent the very, very popular double wide. So this is a putter that I've used myself a lot. Um, really stable. We've obviously got the added technology in there. And again, we can see that tech through the back of the head. I've also been sent the Rossi, which is obviously very popular because of John Rahm. And we can also see this little window in the sole where we can see behind the face and kind of all those different up and down um, areas that we've got there adding to performance. And I've also been sent the extremely popular number seven, which many of you will probably have in the bag right now. You can see we've got movable weights here as well. So we've all the way from five to 20 grams, we can interchange these to dial that putter in even more. We've got a brand new SL90. So some of that stroke lab technology being used in here um, in counterbalancing it. So there's weight at the top end. We've got this new Odyssey grip that we've got on there as well, which feels really, really good. It's kind of a little bit bigger than um, a standard putter grip, but certainly not kind of as big as some of the grips that we've seen on putters uh, over the last few years. So it's kind of a mid-size, I, I suppose you'd, you'd describe it. But yeah, the, this putter line is exceptional. I mean, it really, really looks fantastic. The quality is there. You know, we've got a great finish. We've got a great tech story in here, but also it's been validated already. Now, you'll have noticed any of you that watched the Ryder Cup, John Rahm has switched into this already, he started using it at Wentworth and then in the Ryder Cup. Um, as soon as he was basically able to, he jumped in, in and started using this model of putter because he knows that the science and the data has backed up and validated this putter for him. And obviously he doesn't want to miss out on those extra shots that he's going to gain. So Sam Burns is another one that switched in there as well, pretty much straight away. So we saw him at the Ryder Cup with this new putter. Now he's had exactly the same putter since he turned pro in 2017. So that's going to take a lot to get that out of his bag, but he's gone straight into this to the Ryder Cup and put it really, really nice. AI1 Mill brings together the fantastic technology that we see in AI1 with the milled feel and finish that many of the best players in the world demand from their putters. It's using some of the really popular Toulon shapes, so we'll see like this one that we've got here, the 8T, which is kind of a rounded um, single sight line on the top there. But like I said, the Toulon one, this one very similar to 
um, the Atlanta that's been around there, so the, the 3T. And then we've also got the classic number seven or Toulon Las Vegas that was out, um, so the 7T. And then I've also got the, um, the 2T as well here. So the more classic blade sort of shape that you see there. And like I say, this milling story in there kind of uses the same technology. The one I've kind of gravitated towards since having them is this, the, the 8T. So I really like the rounded shape. I like the bigger footprint, I like the single sight line on it as well. And again, sits absolutely fantastically behind the ball. This one, which is the 6T, so the kind of more malleted sort of shape with the single sight line on there, apparently getting very good traction out on tour and a lot of players picking this up and absolutely love the look and feel of it. We can see it sits great behind the ball there, looks lovely. Um, and again, for those of you that want that slightly bigger head, could could be a real option for you. I've got the, um, the number one T, which has got a slightly smaller sight line on the top of it. But again, more of a traditional blade looking putter for those of you golfing purists out there. And finally, uh, here we have the 11 T. So a bit of a take on the um, 11 putter that's been out for a while. Um, we've obviously got the, the slightly bigger footprint. We've got the three sight lines on the top of it there. And again, adjustable weights in all of these models. So there's something out there to suit every style of putting stroke and every type of golfer out there too. There's going to be a bit of a price difference. So we're looking around 299 for AI1 and AI1 milled is going to be a little bit more expensive, 449 we're kind of looking at there. So it's going to kind of compete with many of the other milled brands out there on the market and very much kind of compete with the price point as well. So expect to see a lot of these putters out on tour. But for now, we're going to jump across to Dallas. We're going to have a bit of a look at more technology. We're going to speak to some of the guys from Odyssey, and hopefully a few special guests. before that everything's a little bigger in Texas. It's not just the screens and we want to live up to that tonight as well because not only tonight do we have the new product that we're going to announce to you in a little while, uh, we also have, as you can see over here in the corner, some of the very best players in the world. Um, you're going to hear a little bit more from them. All right, I'm going to bring them up one by one. First of all, five-time PGA Tour winner and Ryder Cup debuter. Let's welcome up Mr. Sam Burns. <laughs> Next up, we got two-time LPGA winner, including the KPMG Women's PGA Championship. Let's welcome up Mrs. Ronnie Yan. Quick kiss, man. Oh, yeah. Next up, we got seven-time PGA Tour winner, Olympic gold medalist, and if you watch Range Talk, one of the best singers on the Callaway staff. Let's welcome up Mr. Xander Shelfie. Come on, baby. Oh, I'm so fine. You don't want to sing? Yeah, I figured you was going to punk out on me. Left me hanging. Mm. Last but not least, 11-time winner, 2023 Masters champion, and one of the best first pitch throwers in the green jacket that I've ever seen in my life. Welcome up, Mr. John Ron. Stats God told me that you are top 10 in overall putting on the PGA Tour. Another person told me that you were the first person to get their hands on the AI-1 and put it in play. Uh, tell me how it feels to be unofficially the favorite male athlete on the Callaway staff since they couldn't do stuff all early. How does that feel? Well, when I heard Jacob talk about the person that uh, was the top 10 player on tour and switched uh, the week of the tour championship, I was thinking, that person's an idiot, and then I realized that person is me. It is, it is showcase you in the best light, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, so, you know, thankfully it worked out. Uh, I guess the technology does work. Um, yeah, I, you know, I hit a few putts with my putting green, and 
and thought, why not give it a shot? And uh, it's been really good. Uh, what were some of the things that went into you saying, like, hey, I'm ready to give this a try. I'm ready to see if this is room for me to improve in that department. I likely didn't get the same presentation Xander did, uh, which for you that don't know, they basically came up to him saying, this is how much money free pots cost you this year. Uh, they know, at least like, they, see this is the thing, they're a lot more calm than I am, my reaction would have been a lot worse than theirs if they do something like that, so uh, to no surprise to me on right here, obviously. Uh, so they, they had a different approach, Joe tried. I, I'm extremely stubborn and don't like to change, especially mid-season, right? uh, and they they came to me at Eastlake as well, and I did like it at first, but I didn't want to give it a, a chance just quite that week, but I did shortly after, and two weeks later at Wentworth, I was playing without putter, and, and uh, quite a fantastic, had a chance to win, and also big great in the Ryder Cup, so uh, it's, been, it's been good so far. It's Not only have we looked at the different models obviously available in AI1 and uh, AI1 milled, but we've also looked at um, my strength as well, where you've kind of, and, that, and that's the mix that we want, yeah. isn't it? We do, we're not just looking at, like you've said throughout the fitting, we're not just going for whichever head shape we like and which one we kind of put nicely with. We're looking at, well, if we do this with our technique, can kind it of make us better as well? And yeah, I think this, this model marries into where it helps your technique, and then we saw just a little, a little tweak to help you in your release point. Um, and getting back to when we tried Mild and AI1, you immediately said, oh, you much prefer the feel of this and the sound. That's yeah. Right. So that's why we thought, because we've got an option in Mild and this head. That you yeah, I just find distance control wise, it's just a bit yeah. consistent. Yeah. Like that. So, yeah, Seems cool. Great. Can't wait to try it tomorrow, and I can't put any worse than it did today. So, um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> But thank you very much. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Cool. Cheers. It's not every day that you get to get fitted, then walk into the uh, Callaway Tour Truck, which is next to the putting green here, and have this man build your putting for you. But we've gone through the entire process there, haven't we? And we've walked out with exactly what we picked for outside. So, um, yeah, exactly. We just need to hold some putts with it tomorrow. Thank you very much. We really, really appreciate it. There we are, from start to finish, getting fitted for a putter. The brand new AI1 that we've got here, the number seven with the crank hosel, slightly shorter, so 34 inches, thicker grip, and with the new SL90 shaft in it. So I'm gonna put it to, uh, through its paces on the course tomorrow, I hopefully put better than I did today. But what an experience we've had here with Callaway and Odyssey, getting to chat to the tour players. We've had Xander Schofle, John Rahm, Ronnie Yin, and also Sam Burns as well. So four of the best players in the world showing us how they put and also the kind of small details that they go through to help them put slightly better. Hopefully you've enjoyed that video. Keep watching all of our content on the Golf Shake YouTube channel to help you play more and play better. I'm going to go do some more practice.